Hey guys, it's Jules with Stop Drop Disney. Happy Tuesday. Today I'll be reviewing something a little bit different than normal. I actually received an awesome movie poster Funko set for my birthday and I'm really excited to take a look at this one with you guys. So if you're interested in hearing more about it, please keep watching. And if you love Disney as much as I do, subscribe for more fun videos like this one. Okay guys, so for anyone that watches me regularly, I am in a different spot of my room today. I decided because I was doing an Alice in Wonderland review that I would go over to where a lot of my Alice collection is. So I have this wonderful shelf behind me. I reorganize and switch up the shelf all the time um, just because I like to bring focus to different things in my collection and I don't have a ton of room to show it off so just switching it up allows me to do that. Um, so I <laughs> just thought it would be a cool background for this video but the purpose of this video is to talk about this awesome Funko Pop set. So I'm calling it a set because there's two characters in it um and it comes with a poster so to me it's a little bit of a set it feels weird to just call it a funko pop but anyway i received this for my birthday from my mom and i was so surprised i was like what is this big package that i'm opening up and in person this is absolutely gorgeous um, it does come with a plastic film that is in between the outer packaging and the actual um, like plastic case that the set is in um, and so I did remove that plastic wrap and then I put the the plastic casing with um, this set in, back inside the box so I for now I'm going to keep the external packaging on because I do think it looks really nice um, and I like to see even the way the back of it is with this like cool design down here I think it's just really pretty packaging so for right now at least uh, the way I am kind of displaying this I think it looks good with the outer packaging on but definitely up to you if you wanted to remove the outer packaging and just have Alice the Cheshire and the nice background of the movie poster I also saw one account where they removed the plastic case altogether um, and so you can do that as well it is possible you can unscrew it and remove the plastic casing so you have the movie poster or the figures if you just want the figures um, and choose to display it differently but I think it's just so nice the way that it is and if I were to take the case off I just don't think it would look as good in my opinion um, but if you really wanted it just for the figures then that would be a good reason to remove the case but this way the characters are protected and um, I don't really have to worry about them getting marked up or anything so I am kind of liking it in that plastic casing that it comes with so the issue with showing something like this on a video is that of course there's a reflection so sometimes my ring light will show but even if I had my ring light off it would reflect other things in the room so I'm leaving my ring light on so you just have a little bit better lighting to see it but as you can see Alice is a pretty a fairly large character I'd say she's much she's a, a fair bit larger than a typical Funko Pop um, and then the Cheshire Cat is a little bit smaller than a typical Funko Pop and his stance is sort of holding his head with his two arms up and then he's got his one leg crossed over the other uh, you can see it a little bit better in the image here so he's just looking kind of sassy and then Alice is in sort of a oh like what's happening kind of pose or like <laughs> just kind of typical poses for the two of them um, but it's not really to me it, it's not necessarily like they're interacting with each other or acknowledging that the other character is next to them so I think if I had one critique I'd probably say they could have made the characters sort of look like they're interacting with each other but that said I love both of them individually and with the background of this set so not a major call out just something you know that crossed my mind so that's what the side of the box looks like and then as I started to say I love the gorgeous packaging um, of this 
and I love Disney 100 with that nice like holographic design. Um, again, you see another close up of the characters and then the poster. And then on the side, it says Alice with Cheshire Cat. Same thing it said on the other side in a different format. And there the peeking up, you know, usually like a typical Funko box would have a side where they're kind of looking like that. So that's nice as well. And then the top of the box, you can't really see it very well. Well, now you can a little bit with the light. It says pop um, and you have this beautiful, beautiful display. So I absolutely love this. I think for a collector, it is a gorgeous set. There are a fair number of them now. I've seen a Snow White one and I've seen a few others. I would say that unless you have a ton of space, I would probably only get this for your favorite movie or your favorite theme that you like to collect because it is huge. Um, but that said, I think to get it for your favorite collection, it is a wonderful piece and something that will stand out in a beautiful way in your room. So I definitely think that as a collector of Alice, it's something that I will treasure in my collection. Um, and just to show you guys, I will take off the outer packaging so you can see what it looks like without the outer packaging on it. Um, but yeah, so far I've been, I displayed this in my, the outer room that we have. Um, and then I decided to bring it into my room with where most of my Disney collection is. And wherever it is, it stands out. It's definitely a nice conversation piece in any room and no matter how many collectibles you have around it's going to stand out it's going to draw attention so i think that is one of the benefits of it of all the pieces that i have in my collection not all of them will draw that attention like this does um, so here it is outside of that packaging you can now see the characters a little bit better and their full profiles um, I love this scene in the background of the mad tea party you've got the Cheshire cat in the background there too of course Alice in that central position the white rabbit the March hare and the mad hatter so I think this is a really really nice scene in the movie and obviously a super memorable scene and um then just ha adding in additional characters like the white rabbit it's just really nice um i think it's it's very cute so i love the full display i love the poster in the background i love the, that they chose alice and the cheshire to put as the featured characters in the front You've got this um, black base to it, so that is what you don't see if you have the packaging on, so you wouldn't see the base portion here. Um, let's see. I'm wondering if you're able to take the base out at all without removing any screws. Don't think so, but just checking. Um, because with the itty bitty pops, you can remove the base, but no, this would be, I think you'd need to remove the screws. But as you can see on the side, um, there's like screws at each of these spots here. So you would unscrew those if you wanted to remove the packaging. Um, but yeah, so it, it's pretty well sealed in there and it's not like you're gonna have to worry about when you're holding it the, the bottom of the, the box is going to come out or anything like that um, but it is absolutely gorgeous so i'm really thrilled to have it in my collection if i had to choose one this would be the one that i would choose snow white i will say is also a gorgeous gorgeous one if you're a snow white collector um, offhand i can't really think of all the other ones that are out i, I do believe there's a star wars one um, there's probably more than one Star Wars one, if I'm being fair. Um, but yeah, I'm sure there will be one for <laughs> every popular movie before long. Um, but this is one that I hadn't really seen in person and I was really so surprised to receive it for my birthday. I didn't even know my mom knew about it. Um, 
And in my family, we have a hard time keeping secrets about what we got people for birthdays because we're just so excited to give these gifts. Uh, but she did a really good job of keeping this secret. And yeah, I think it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. But I would love to know your thoughts if you've collected any of the larger size Funko Pop sets. Um, this being obviously, I think this is the largest one, although they do have the ones where the characters are really big, uh, even bigger than the Cheshire up there. Um, so they do have some really large character ones that are just the character. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be a really nice piece in my Forever Alice in Wonderland collection. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching to the end. If you could hit that like button and subscribe, that would be wonderful. Um, but thank you so much to my returning subscribers and for everybody that supports me on a regular basis. I really appreciate you all. Have a great week. Bye.